click the link below or go straight to MrLocario.com to get the documentary Game Kings, The Definition of Game. Well, I have a question. Um, I noticed this one, like, reincurring theme in my life with girls. Mm. Where, like, it's really, it's kind of hard to explain, but eventually, like, I don't know, around five or six months, they, like, tell me, like, they're, I don't feel them enough. Like, they don't feel enough. They're not getting enough from me. Mm. And they don't feel like I generally like them. Mm. Because this other chick, um, we had a situation where we both got an STD. Mm-hmm. So we had this, I mean, of course, like the med- we got our medicine and everything, but it takes, two- we're going to wait two weeks. Mm. Well, I told her that, um, okay, well, we'll not see each other for a while, you know, just for two weeks, you know, then just, mm. just to make sure. Right. Then she kind of got offended because she thought I didn't like her for her. Mm. just to have sex and i tried to explain to her that i do like you for you but i know because we the relationship has been good the sex has been good we're like super feeling each other Mm. and but it's just this one moment where she's got like super insecure Mm. and she kind of kind of lashed out on me wait hold on let me ask you a question how long how long how long you been seeing this chick six months Six months. Okay. And how often do you see her? I, I like how, saw her. Like how many times a week? Two times a week, probably. So you've been so probably like two at the most. Okay. So you see her two times a week. Um, she come over your crib, you go over her crib. How does that work? I usually go over her crib mostly. Okay. Do you spend a night? Yeah. Okay, do y'all get up eating breakfast in the morning and all that other shit? Um, not usually. Only on like weekends if we're like if it is the day after. Okay, do y'all out. do y'all be cuddling after sex and all that other stuff? <laughs> I, I see where you're going with this. <laughs> That's oh, what I'm saying. So, energy, aren't you? Okay, so this is the thing. You're doing you're doing way too much, bro. So so that's the problem is that she <sighs> she's she's gonna think you don't like her because what happens is is that because you're doing so much at any moment when you're not doing as much as you've been doing she's gonna feel like you're not feeling her and then that's when you're gonna get that energy of oh what's going on and how come this and how come that because you're you're you've been you've been spoiling her and then when you feel like oh let me just not spend a night or let me just do it it could be anything where she's gonna interpret that as she's she you're you're pulling away or it's not where it's at you understand what i'm saying or it's it's losing its momentum you see what i mean so mm-hmm. whenever you're dealing with women you have to take the actual situation like not not the fucking you can fuck them like once a week or something like that but as far as doing extra things you have to take that super slow you understand what i'm saying so what so what i mean is right so what i mean is is that you got to Basically, you know, y'all hook up every now and then. And then at a certain point, you say, like, let's say, for example, y'all meet, y'all been hooking up for like two months, right? And then you only see her maybe once a week, once every two weeks, and y'all hook up. And then let's say mm-hmm. on the third month, maybe fourth month, y'all, y'all still hooking up maybe once a week or something like that. And then on the fourth month, you say, yeah, hey, you know what? Let's go and, and get some pizza after we fuck, right? Now, it's been yeah. four months of fucking. Yeah, got it. Right. Yeah. And that's all you do is, is get that one slice of pizza after four months of fucking. You understand? And what I mean by four months of fucking, that means she comes over at 5 p.m., right? Y'all start fucking maybe 5 15. Mm-hmm. Y'all done by, let's say, six o'clock, and she's out. And that's that you repeat the process like that. It shouldn't be y'all fucking, y'all laying there, looking in each other's eyes, cuddling, fucking eating food together. None of that shit. You understand? Every time when you're doing more and more of that stuff, they're going to expect that same level and more. You understand? So you can't keep doing all that and then fall back. This is why I say that it has to be a slow process. So when when you add things, right, what what happens is, is that 
she appreciates it more. There's more investment on her part because now she feels like the situation's going somewhere, but you're only doing that if you see her worth the investment. You see what I'm saying? Right now you're doing way too much too soon. So now she's gotten comfortable at that level and now she's feeling a certain type of way. So for example, it's like if I hired you at a job and I said, hey, I'm gonna pay you, you know, $100 an hour. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm gonna give you full time. And then all of a sudden I'm like, hey, I'm a matter of fact, you know, I gotta, I'm, I'm gonna pay you like $75 an hour and I'm only gonna give you, you know, part time and I'll just call you here. And you're gonna be like, what the fuck's going on? You understand? Because you got used to $100 an hour and you got used to full time. That's what's happening now. She got used to you doing certain things and then you you did something or stopped doing a certain thing she expected and that's why she's acting funny. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, man. I, you know, it's funny because I thought I was kind of going slow, but now that you mentioned it. Nah, yeah, slow I, is I super you, slow. Right? I, tell, I, I, I tell motherfuckers, the first three months, should just basically be fucking like you go on. You could go on that one first date just to fill her out. Y'all get a drink. The second time you see her, y'all fuck. Then you see her the next week, y'all fuck. You see her once again the next week, y'all fuck. You see her, you understand? And do that for like three, four months. You understand what I'm saying? Just fucking. That's it. And and so and then so what happens is that she gets used to the situation of okay, all right, we'll just we're just fuck buddies. Cool, everything's cool. But she also likes you, which is why she consistently fucks you. Now, once you start to feel her out and see how she is, and you're like, okay, I see that she's been consistent with the fucking. She hasn't been nagging me about a relationship. She's just been cool. Everything is cool. You know what? Let, let's let's go get a slice of pizza. Now, when you're having that slice of pizza, that's your basically your second date after four months. You feel what I'm saying? So you see what I mean? So you got to move it super, yeah. super fucking slow. You see what I'm saying? And then so by the time six months, seven months is happening, you still fucking her. You understand? And then you might say, hey, listen, let's go to the movies real quick. I, this is a movie. I, let's go see that. You understand? So you're slowly getting her to see that you want to spend some time with her that's not sexual, which means that she's moving up in the ranks. You understand what I'm saying? But it's slower. You see what I mean? You can't do all the cuddling, spending the night, massages, rubbing her feet and all this other crazy shit. You understand what I'm saying? You can't do that oh, shit. Well, no, I don't be rubbing her. I, right. I don't be rubbing her feet. <laughs> right, but that's what I'm saying. You got you got to keep, bro. It's so simple. Like for the you know the first three to four months is is basically fucking. That's it. I see you when I see you. We'll we'll get okay. together and we'll hook up. And then as time goes on and you see that she's being consistent with that without any like like fucking pressure on you. Then that's the thing you can say, okay, I can move this girl up a notch. You understand what I'm saying? I can do a little bit more because what happens is, is that if she really likes you, she's going to accept the time and energy you give her, no matter what that is without her fucking complaining. A lot of times when women complain or they try to rush the situation or they try to pressure you into a situation, that means that they're not really feeling you and they're just desperate to have somebody there. You understand? Like she's desperate for a boyfriend, which is why she's trying to pressure you into that frame. But if she likes you, what happens is, is that she's willing to wait for you for whatever you're trying to do and follow your lead because all she cares about is being in your presence. You understand what I'm saying? That's what it, that's what it's about. So once you upgrade her, then she's like, oh shit, he took me out for pizza. Oh my God, this is amazing. So, and it's just pizza. But again, that is you making a conscious decision to move her up because you you say, okay, I'm actually, I actually like this girl. So I'm going to get it to that point to where it's going in that direction. You see what I'm saying? And that's how you vet the chick where you, so once you see that she's, she's, you know, been that all that stuff has been happening, then you could start doing other shit to say to her. You could be like, Hey, listen, come through to my crib, but I want you to stop by the store and pick up this, this, and that. So now you're testing her to see how compliant she is about following the direction. So you're like, all right, cool. This girl's been fucking me for four months. No questions asked, not pressuring me. You understand what I'm saying? I took her out to eat for some pizza. Everything was cool. And we still was fucking. Then I said, hey, bring me back some shit from the store. She she listened to what I said. No, no back talk, nothing. And so that's when you see, okay, this chick, if I ever, you know, was, was thinking about making a chick my girl, she's she's in the running. She's in first place. You understand what I'm saying? She's doing everything she needs to do to make that happen. But again, you got to move slow. That's all I'm saying. You get it? Okay. Well, is it, yeah, but uh, one more thing. Mm -hmm. um, it, the thing is, I did tell her that I usually wait a year, a year and a half to make a girl my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. 
but I, I guess it still didn't really matter because I guess I was still moving quote unquote too fast. Exactly. It has to, it, it has to but, be, um, things have to be congruent, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, remember the thing is, it's like, I, mean, I did. I mean, she was cooperative and mm-hmm. I do like her. Like I do mm-hmm. like her, but right. it's just the whole situation. Now we kind of have to stay away from each other because mm-hmm. when we're with each other, we're mm-hmm. feeling each other. Right. Right. I mean, and so it's, it's like, it's, yeah, I tried to explain that to her. Like, mm-hmm. But see, that's the thing. It's it's but, it's not just what you explaining it. You also have to show her with your actions. You understand? It's not just saying it, it's also doing it because your actions have to yeah, match up. I, mean, with, I haven't seen her. I right. haven't seen her in about a week, so or since the whole thing occurred. Right. So you said wait, so you said that y'all had a uh, y'all caught a you caught an S T D from her or she caught a like how what what happened with that? Oh well uh, what I mean we see other people and mm-hmm. I guess we just kinda pass it to each other. Okay, so, so yeah, I mean, I mean that's so yeah, both. I, I have insurance; it's part of the game. Like, right, right. So like, y'all both had something, and then y'all got te- you got tested. Y'all both finally had some shit, and then y'all took some like medication for it or whatever. Yeah. And okay. Then I just said we, you know, we should take some time off, and that's where the uh, uh, you only like me for sex thing. Right. Up, See, that's like, what that's what I'm saying. See? I understand. I was like, I understand where you're coming from. But this is a this is a different situation, like. <laughs> no, no, it's the, it's the same situation because look, the thing is, if you're saying, "Hey, we should take some time off," right? She's gonna be like, "Oh, so wait, you just want me for sex?" Now, why does she think? Why would she think that she just you just want her for sex? The reason why is because you were fucking her, but also doing other shit. So now she's gonna think, "Oh, he was doing all that other shit because he just wanted to fuck me." But guess what? If you were taking it slow and just fucking her, she would have known that it was just about sex right now. You understand what I'm saying? So then she wouldn't have the idea of, oh, well, what does this mean? Because again, you have to understand something. Whenever, see, women, women, they're going to interpret your actions, right? So you can say whatever you want. You could literally say to a chick, hey, listen, uh, I, you can tell a chick, hey, I just want to fuck you, right? And you could have that in bright letters. You yeah. have a t-shirt that says, I just want to fuck you. You could change your, your government name to I just want to fuck you. But as soon as you go over a house, eat breakfast with her, cuddle, spend the night, all that other shit, your, word, your words don't mean nothing. The actions always take precedent over the words. This is what I'm saying, where your words and yeah, your actions okay. need to line up, but your actions they're more important than actually the words in most cases because your actions are going to tell her because a lot of times you don't even need to say anything if your actions already told her. So if I'm, if I'm dealing with a chick and I fuck her, we have sex and then I don't see her for two weeks and then I'll have sex with her again. And I see her maybe the next week we have sex again. And then I don't see her for another week and a half that we have sex again. So all I've been doing is coming over a house, fucking her for like an hour and leaving. So what does that tell her? Oh, we're just fucking. So now she doesn't have to say, hey, are you just with me for sex? No, because she knows I'm just with her for sex at this moment. You see what I'm saying? So now what happens is, is that it's in that frame. But right now what happened is, is that you basically, you know, is trying to say, oh, I just want to hook up and have fun or whatever. But at the same time, your your behaviors are showing something different. So this is what I'm saying that your actions and your words have to be congruent, but your actions definitely have to show her what it really is. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I see what you're saying, but it uh, it sucks because I kind I kind of like doing that stuff. Mm-hmm. Like you know you, you know you know cuddling with a girl and so mm-hmm. like you're like it's just. Oh, no, I, no, I get it. Trust me. I get it. I get it. But this is what I'm saying. Yeah. You have to, you also have to understand, like, you also have to understand that you're dealing with a woman though, because what happens is this is yeah. why, this is why the man, this is why you're the manager of the relationship, because what happens is even though you may want to do that, right. You can't give her that right until she's in the right position to receive it you understand what i'm saying like she it's like it's like this yeah it's like if you if you had a if you had a son right and let's say you had like a a, a car like a sports car or something that you really love and you're like this, this car is my shit i've been working on it for years and i want to give it to my son you understand what i'm saying but your son is only seven years old so you got to wait till he's of age to mm-hmm. drive a car to give him the car you understand what i'm saying you can't just give it to him now because he's gonna fucking kill himself you understand yeah. what i'm saying it's the same thing with women 
you may want to do certain things, but you can't do certain things at a certain time because if you do it at the wrong time, this is where the drama and all this other shit's going to come up because women take things differently. You understand what I'm saying? Like, for example, you might say to a girl, like, you might just be hungry and you say, hey, let's go to, to, uh, to the store and get some food, right? You just taking her to get food because you're hungry. When you're dealing with women, she's going to take the fact that you took her to get food and took her out to eat. That may, that's going to mean something way more to her than actually you just getting food. You understand what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. Like you could have been like, you could have been driving with the chick and you say, Hey, I got to stop by my, my parents' house real quick. Cause I got to pick up some, some shit from my, my old room. Cause I just moved into this other spot. So you, she, you go in there with her and you introduce her to your mom just because her your mom was there in just in passing. Now she's like, oh my God, she's, she's going to tell her girlfriends, you introduced her to your mom. That means that you're, y- y'all are together now and y'all are in love. And you're like, I just introduced her because she was there. That didn't mean nothing. You see what I'm saying? You're just doing shit. For women, it means something different. This is what I'm saying. You have to be careful about how you do shit with women. You have to do shit slowly and at the right time or else you're going to have drama. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. You see what I mean? Well, uh, well okay. What, one more thing. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we uh, after a little kerfuffle, mm-hmm. I just uh, I just told her, okay, I guess we'll wait two more weeks to talk because we kind we're just not talking right now. Good. Mm-hmm. I, I just I just kind of cut it off. I was like, okay, she's being what she's being a girl. I'm just gonna just wait two weeks. Should, should I message her back in two weeks or should I wait until she hits me back up? Or should I just drop the whole situation? Well, this is the thing, bro. This is the thing. See, this 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 is this is the part that I know, sucks. I know, I'm in a tough spot. I know. You know, because I'm telling you, y'all be fucking up the situation so bad that sometimes it's beyond repair. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that because I always say sometimes you gotta charge it because you fucked up. You understand what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, but mm-hmm. this is what you could do is you could you know, do sort of like, sort of like a reset on the situation. You understand what I'm saying? Meaning that let's say two, three weeks go by and she hits you up or you hit her up or whatever. And then y'all meet up and you say, Hey, listen, um, this is what it is. Like, you know, I like kicking with you, but this is what I want to happen from this point out. And then you let her know what it's, what's good, what it's going to be. And then your actions follow that specifically. You understand what I'm saying? And so if she if she's like down with it and she wants to keep fucking with you, then cool. But your actions have to go with what the fuck you're saying. So you're basically like you're starting over, right? But a lot of times that's hard to happen. That's, that, that doesn't happen as much because again, it's hard to do that a lot of times if um, you know, you've already been acting a certain way in the situation. So it would have to be a certain thing where like, it really works a lot of times if y'all haven't seen it, like you probably have to not see her for like three, four months. And then her randomly hit you up to see what's popping with you. You understand what I'm saying? That's when it'll work the best. Cause then y'all took time off. Y'all ain't really been fucking with each other. So then y'all, it's sort of like a re- reset, rewind of the situation. Now it's not impossible to do it now, maybe like a week or two from now, whatever, but it, you're just going to have to really stick to taking the shit super fucking slow, bro. You understand what I'm saying? To let her know where it's at at this point. Look, I mean, you know, I just want to hang out, hook up with you, have some fun. And then that's what you do. You understand? And then as time goes on, then you can say, hey, listen, you know, we can add this on. But remember, you got to add the shit slowly. That's what I'm trying to say. It has to be a slow fucking process, bro. You can't move too fast with these chicks or else you're going to have a lot of fucking drama, a lot of headache, a lot of annoying interactions with them because again the, the what 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 guys don't understand is is that you're she like she she you're you're thinking that you're just chilling and doing shit to her it's almost like you're giving her mixed signals you understand what i'm saying so she's thinking yeah. it's more than just sex but then based off of how you're interacting with her then she's thinking well wait a second is it just about sex? Because if you're like, well, because she's thinking, well, why can't we see each other for two weeks or whatever it is? Why are we not seeing each other? You see what I'm saying? And so, and so, and, and, and let me ask you, why, why do you not want to see her for that, for that time? Uh, 
I mean, I, t- I mean, I told you before because when we get together, it just happens. I mean, she's a cool chick and everything. Mm-hmm. Nothing's really wrong with her. It's just I just I'm I'm trying to take precautions. Take precautions. Trying to be cautious. What do you mean? What do you mean by being cautious? I mean, not fuck. <laughs> oh, so you're saying so? So what, that's what I'm saying. So but that's my that's that's the whole point. You see what I'm saying? See, because you want to go over there and fuck. Correct. And I don't. I don't mind hanging out with her too. Right, but, <laughs> but you. That but you, also would be nice. Right, you know? but that's what I'm saying. But see, that's that's what I'm saying. See, you're still. See, that's know, what I'm saying. I you're still it, in the I stage, right? You see what I'm saying? You're still in the stage where you just want to fuck. See, when you have a girlfriend, like when a chick becomes your girlfriend, there's gonna be times where shit's, you know, she's sick or whatever. And you're, you're going to, or, you know, like yeah. she's something wrong with her pussy or something like that. It, it just, whatever. She's out of, she's on a period. She don't want to fuck today. Cause she got cramps, whatever the fuck it is. And you'll be in a situation where you're spending time with her and y'all ain't fucking. So that, so that's what she's looking for now. And she's looking for that because you spent non-sexual time with her. So she's like, well, why can't we spend non-sexual time now? Oh, is it because you just want to fuck? And again, this is what I'm saying. You you want to you're that's basically what you want to do. So it's showing her that that's what it is. And that's that seems like mixed signals. You see what I'm saying? Okay. So that's yeah, yeah. I mean, it makes it makes sense. Like I yeah, I know. It makes sense. You see what I'm saying? So so you got to figure out what you're trying to do and for any future chicks you fucking with, bro, just I'm telling you, man, just uh you got to you got to you got to be take the shit slow as fuck. You feel me? What's going on? It's your boy, Miles Cunningham. And what I want to talk about today is the Bad Boy Membership Contest. All you have to do to be eligible to win the Bad Boy Membership Contest is to be a Bad Boy member. See, what we realize is that when guys join the Bad Boy Membership, they make the transition from simp to player very quickly. And we're just trying to make that transition just a little bit easier. So here's what you get if you win the Bad Boy Membership Contest. So here's what you receive if you win the Bad Boy Membership Contest. A bottle of Bad Boy Cologne by Carolina Herrera, New York. A luxury designer timepiece. And a $100 gift card. To increase your chances of winning, share this post in your story, tag three friends, and subscribe to Mr. Lucario or the Miles Cunningham YouTube channel. The link is in the bio. And follow real mr lucario and miles in the game on instagram the winner will be announced at the first of the month good luck click the link below and get your bad boy gear get the t-shirts submissive women are sexy binary as fuck and i'm god to these hoes click the link below to get your bad boy gear today now, before you go, click the link below and go to badboymembership.com. Now, badboymembership.com is a place where you go to get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. Listen, I know you're tired of being rejected. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of being afraid to approach women. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of not getting the women that you want. Go to badboymembership.com. Listen, I know you're tired of being alone on a Friday night. Go to badboymembership.com. Now picture this. You'll go from not getting what you want when it comes to you dealing with women to actually getting what you want, to being the guy women want to be with, women want to date, women want to have sex with. All you need to do is go to badboymembership.com, follow the steps, learn the game, implement the game, and then you will get the woman you want. Make sure you go to badboymembership.com today. Click the link below.